All right, the final combat after this, it's the end of the German turn and off we go to Jura, um, the Russian turn. So that'll be the 22nd to the 25th of November, 1914. Second last turn for my mini game, my goodness. And ironically, well, in an interesting way, on the 25th of March will be uh, the two year anniversary that I started playing this game, the mini game. Anyway, so what, uh, what's been going on with the 9th Army? Yeah, I did some shifts over here. I'm not gonna really, oh, you can see a little bit. Uh, no combats. I just moved a lot of troops around trying to get ready. But yet again, it's um, just not enough supply, and I didn't do enough planning ahead of time. And I've, you know, I kept changing my changing the um, my agenda or whatever every five seconds, and I got to stop doing that. Anyways, so the Ninth Army did have ten supply points. Uh, we're using um, oh, what's his name, Schubert. Uh, going to be using six supply points uh, to fully supply this attack. That's 24 um, attacking strength points. They're attacking across uh, broken terrain, I do believe. Let's hold on. I want to make sure that I got that right. Yep, it's broken terrain. Okay. And I'm hoping to goodness, while well, the Germans are hoping to goodness, that uh, by forcing a retreat over to here, taking over this position, this is going to cause an awful lot of grief. I don't even understand. Like, it'll be interesting to know what happens when um, I can able to attack from diff like three different sides on a trench. Does that uh, get rid of the, the trench bonus and all this other stuff? That's about all I can do here. Uh, I'm... Um, did bring over uh, the 4th Cavalry Division. They were a uh, recent reinforcement coming in from the Western Front. I'm going to bring them over here and try to gr uh, go along this spit of land here and uh, try to outflank these guys come uh, whenever. But here we go. Um, I'll, uh, yeah, I moved a lot of troops around, obviously, to get, uh, to, to get over there. But I've got uh, the 35th. Uh, the 38th, the 22nd, the 35th Reserve Ersatz, and the 3rd Infantry Division. They're going up against, and of course the Russians, i got to remind myself, this is what they keep doing, man. They're, they're, they know what they're doing. I, I, yeah, okay, they're right now at this moment in time a German punching bag, because that's all they're really doing. There's got no supply, and they're not really doing any attacks. But uh, they've got 11 strength points. What does that mean with the one-third uh, retreat uh, rule for the Russians? Um, that's at 3.7 divided by 3, so uh, rounded up, that's 4, which means the uh, Germans are going to need 4 hits. That's a lot. Uh, and uh, they're going up against the Russian 25th Infantry Division, the 50th Infantry Division, and the 29th. Like I said, we're uh, fully supplying the attack. Away we go. Um, and I'll show you what uh, what kind of potential damage could be done with the... Um with the and it's minus 1 to the die roll uh, for the attacker, and no... Um, nothing for uh, the uh, counter-attack. So we're over here at 24 land. If you can see that, hopefully you can. And so it's not too bad. Um, the worst we can do is two hits. But uh, obviously I want to get the... Um, I want to get up the... Oh shoot, hey. So as long as I don't hit a... I need to get a six or a five. Oh Jesus. So that's a one-third chance I'm going to force a retreat. Oh, and I'm going to show you two dice poppers. One is the... I guess the official Kind of like a, it's a smaller version of the Clark Commando 1983 one, but uh, yeah, it costs $20 on Amazon. I love playing with it, that's for sure. I can barely stop pressing the button, but this one only costs $1.50 from the dollar store. It's just the snow globe thing that I wanted to use for um, a Zeppelin diorama thing that I'll eventually hopefully get around to. But anyways, we're going to use this crazy ass thing I, and, and away we go. So it's minus one to the die roll and uh, we'll see what happens here. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know what the glare, eh? I don't know if it'll, um, here, I'll put it over to here. I never thought of that. And it's a two. Jesus Christ, man. So that's it. They don't force a retreat. Um, I was, I, I'll be honest with you, I had a really, I had a good feeling it was gonna, it was going to be a, a forced retreat, and that's not the case. Shit. So that's, uh, that kind of, uh, it really screws things over. Um, so that's a two with a minus one. So I get two hits. Like I said, that's the worst I can do. Uh, the Russians are not forced to retreat, which means they're going to be times three for their counterattack. Uh, however, they can't supply. They don't have any supplies, so they're not going to be able to supply um, the counterattack. Which means the their counterattacking or their strength points going into uh, into the attack 
is uh, chopped in half. So hold on here, I'm not the, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. So 5.5 times 3 is 17, well 16 and a half, so 17 strength uh, counter-attacking strength points are going to go up. And let's see what they can do. They can do some pretty, uh, can do some pretty nasty things. So let's see, I'm going to use that. Uh, I should use the same, the same whatever. So we'll go again and let's see what happens. And it's all one. <laughs> this has been it. I'm telling you, man, that, that uh, die six is just not in, an enjoyable thing. So uh, they do one hit. And that's it. Um, I'll subtract the whatevers, but that's it. I've, I'm just going to um, add in the demoralization. I think I may do a... Um, I did one... Uh, I did uh, the writing anyways. I'll show you later. I'll do like a separate quick video. won't be very long at all. Um, you know, I'll zoom out a bit. Um, is... Um, the demoralization and just even I'll show you even if I made major mistakes for example like even if I miscalculated and forgot to give uh, take away um, or give uh, 200 demoralization points to Russia they're still in good shape that's how bad things have gone for the central powers over time but it was, it's primarily it was the Germans just leaving um, um, allowing the Russian troops to remain for so long in East Prussia right now and of course that uh, when the Fourth Army did that quickie little, the Russian Fourth Army did that quickie little jaunt into Silesia and nailed some, nailed some towns and caused a lot of panic. Those two big things were the, um, the kicker for the the demoralization. Anyways, yeah, like I said, I'll do a separate video, but that didn't go well for the Germans. I really thought that was going to break the back there and cause all kinds of panic, but uh, no. Jeez. All right. Hope you're having a good one. See you later.